Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So you may or may not know that recently I brought home two new rats into my family and this will be my second time now bringing home rats but I realise even now that it is quite a daunting thing to bring home a new animal into your home and into your life. So I wanted to make a video talking about some of the things you should do when you're going out and getting new rats and some of the things to expect when you are bringing them home. So before you bring them home you want to make sure that you have everything you're going to need for them to care for them during their lifetime. So you'll need a cage, water bottles, a litter tray, some toys, some beds and suitable food and bedding that you'll need during their life and don't worry if you don't have all of the toys that you plan on getting them throughout their lifetime as long as you have a few things just to make them comfortable during the first couple of weeks of owning them. Ideally you also want to have the cage set up ready to go when you bring them home. I remember with my first boys I had the cage set up about a month before because I was that excited to bring them home. Now if you can you want to put the cage in an area or a room separate from any other rodents that you might already have just to quarantine them for around a period of two weeks to make sure that they don't have any illnesses that they can pass on to any other existing rodents and pets that you already have. Um, you want to make sure that this is in a separate airspace as well, so that anything that can be transferred won't get passed on to your other animals. Before you bring your new rats home, you also want to make sure that you know where any vets are located, should anything happen and you need to get them immediate vet care. Um, some vets I know won't treat rats because they are seen as exotic animals in some places, so you'll need to make sure and ring up before you get your rats that the vets near you will actually treat them. So on the day you want to take a carrier with you, now you can either have a cat carrier or a small carrier that is made for small animals such as rabbits and this is the one that I have. Um, you want to do this even if you are making the choice to go and get rats from a pet shop because most of the times they will give them to you in a cardboard box which isn't great because they can chew their way out of this on the way home. So you want to take a carrier with you and you want to put bedding in the bottom, now you can either put a fleece blanket in there but just be aware that they may mess it up on the way home or just put some of the bedding that you are planning on putting in the cage in the bottom of the carry cage. Something else you also want to put in the carry cage is a very watery fruit or vegetable such as cucumber or a piece of apple just to act as a water source for your rats whilst they are travelling home with you. You also don't want to be tempted to open the carrier or take them out of the carrier on the way home because the last thing you want is for your rats to get loose in your car. So when you do get home you want to make sure that the room you are putting them in is quiet and not as brightly lit as my room is right now and hopefully away from other animals such as dogs or cats that may potentially stress them out more than they already are from being in a new environment. As with any animal, coming into a new environment can be stressful for them and it can cause their behaviours to be slightly different to what they normally would be. Even rats and breeders that were confident and happy in the breeder's house may act differently in your own home. This is relatively normal and rats from pet shops may be even more nervous because they aren't used to being handled and around humans. So you need to expect them to be a little bit nervous and scared when you first get them home. Obviously some rats may be just completely fine with this and take this in their stride but some rats will be very very nervous when you first get them home. So when you do get home you want to put your rats straight in the cage from the carrier. If you're not comfortable with picking them up yet just open the door next to the door of the cage and they should go in. Make sure that their food and water sources are in a place that's obvious to them so they can find these comfortably. And I know it's exciting when you first get a new pet, you want to play with it, you want to look at it, but ideally you want to leave them alone just to settle in for a period of time. Now every rat is different and every rat will need different amount of times to get used to their new environment. Personally my rats are from a breeder so they are well handled and socialised with humans but I still left them to settle in overnight because I got them around the afternoon so I left them to settle in overnight and then the next morning was when I started to try and bond with them. Other rats may be different, you just have to judge your rat's personality and behaviour when you get them home. So if they are coming up to the door of the cage and seeming like they want to interact with you, feel free to interact with them straight away. But if they are hiding, you may want to give them a few hours or overnight to just settle in and get used to their new environment. So the next day when you are ready to bond with your rats, you want to just quietly sit beside the cage have the door open and talk to them quietly. Feel free to reach your hand in and let them smell it to get used to your smell. Now baby rats especially will sometimes nip you but it doesn't actually hurt, that's just them 
and their way of getting to know you and kind of test biting you to find out who you are and what you're all about and sometimes it's their way of kind of initiating a play behavior so don't worry if they do touch you with their mouths as long as they're not um, breaking the skin or drawing any blood then they're not being aggressive it's just them trying to figure out who you are now bonding with your new rats can take some time so don't be discouraged if straight away they don't want to be with you as I said they are getting used to their new environment so it can take some rats a different amount of time to be comfortable around you compared to other rats some things you can do to help you bond with your new rats is you can reach in and try and pet them now if they run away obviously don't force it let them come to you and you can offer them some treats so offer them on the palm of your hand so that they have to come over and touch you to get the treats and if you keep doing this they'll get more and more comfortable with you and gradually you can work towards picking them up once they are comfortable enough to be picked up you can take them to areas such as a bed or an isolated bathroom but make sure that all the like escape routes and stuff are blocked off and just sit with them and let them climb over you and eventually they will get more and more used to you and more comfortable to be around you. Another thing I really found that helped is I have a very specific hoodie that has, it's made for cats but I use it for my rats. You can put them in and other people have things that are called bonding pouch that they carry their rats around with them to get them used to their smell, to different sounds in the house and to get them used to just being near them and people find that this really really works to bond them with their rats. Now there's some things that you should expect when you are bringing your new rats home that you may not have thought of or may not expect to come across so I thought I'd mention these for you just in case these things do crop up and you are worried about them. Now the first thing is something called new rat sniffles and as you may or may not know, hopefully you know if you are going out and getting rats, is that they are very prone to having respiratory issues. So if you read this online and then the symptoms crop up, as soon as you've got your new rats home it may be very worrying to you, but rats can get a few symptoms of respiratory issues, just some stress and obviously being in a new environment and bringing them into your home, they are going to be more stressed than they usually would be, so sometimes these symptoms can appear in the first week or so of having them. They may be a bit sneezy and they may have porphyrin around their nose and their eyes. Usually this is very normal and this is just because of the new environment they're in, but if the symptoms do persist about one or two weeks after you've had them home, then I would consider taking them to the vets and getting them checked out. Again, something else that you should be anticipating or expecting, I've mentioned this before, is the nipping. Now obviously if you are getting your rats in pet shops, they're not going to be socialised and used to humans as if they were from a breeder, which is why I would always encourage you, if you can, to find a breeder in your area, as opposed to supporting pet shops, among other reasons why I don't suggest going to pet shops to get rats. If you have got a rat from a pet shop, then they are more likely to be skittish and scared and nervous, and sometimes this can cause them to bite. Now I personally have never been bitten by a rat because my rats are from breeders, but just expect that this may potentially happen because they are scared and in a new environment they may potentially bite you. Now usually this doesn't break the skin or cause you to bleed, but I just wanted to put it out there that this may be that this may potentially happen and you do need to work a little bit more, especially with pet shop rats, to get them used to you and it does take time. They're not going to love you straight away and you just need to be patient with them. Alright, that's everything that I can think of for things that you should do when you're taking new rats home and things you should expect. If there's anything I didn't mention that you think would be useful to first time rat owners, please drop it down in the comments to let everyone know and subscribe to see more animal related videos from me and we'll see you in our next video. Bye!